Hello everybody and welcome back to Undertale where we have just beat Miss Muffet. It was very, very, very difficult for some unknown reason. I think she was more difficult because I didn't have enough um, healing items on me to start with. So, Because once I had the healing items in my inventory, I got through her in like a couple of turns. So she wasn't so bad. And she says, there you are, dearie. You're always welcome in my parlour. Just stay on your best behaviour. Ah, oh, there we are. So she's my friend now. So we're good. And then we saw this guy who's like a fan of Metaton and also a lion. And we went down here and we were in a little play with Metaton and then he tried to fight me and that was really annoying. And now that guy here has run out of ice cream, so I'm not very happy with that. So we're just going to go along here and see what we can find. Oh yes, this was the way to the lift. So if we need to go back to the lift and get any more healing items, we can go back, still go back to Snowden and get them if we need to. But I wanted to go back to a save point because it looks like stuff's going to happen up here and I hadn't seen a save point yet and I was getting a little bit antsy so I was like, I'll go back to the one before the spider. So I don't have to fight her again. The last thing you want to do when you spend ages doing a fight is to then die somewhere else and then have to do it all over again. Okay, so this note says, hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. <laughs> All right, what's well, Sans got to say? Hey, I heard you're going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah, I'm busy. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Great, thanks for treating me. Oh, right. Over here, I know a shortcut. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey! I know the feeling, buddy. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. It's what you have to do. Really worth it? I don't know. Ah, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. Let me tell you a story. So I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. I've seen that locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. So one day, I'm knocking them out, like usual. I knock on the door and say knock-knock. And suddenly, on the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So naturally, I respond, Dishes! Dishes who? Dishes a very bad joke. Then she just howls with laughter, like it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock, knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I did not know you could yodel. Old lady who... Right, got it. Wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually I had to leave. The pirate gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. <laughs> but she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day, though... I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up, and she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now, I hate making promises, and this woman, I don't even know her name. I really hope that wasn't for real. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy? You'd be dead. Where you stand. Hey, 
straight up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Am I wrong? You are very, very wrong. <laughs> I died like four times just to that spider lady. Maybe more times than that. I lost count. Heh. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. But someone really cares about you. There's lots of weird people in this restaurant. There's that snowbird thing. I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Ah, oh, he's the guy. Yeah, he's the teen 18 comedian. I remember him. Now my son. Now my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. Oh, he's the dad of the guy. Oh, I'm glad I spared him. I think I spared him. I hope I spared him. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells me awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mama, sorry, mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. That's not funny. <laughs> no, it's not. Who's this guy? I work at the core. The inside is a maze of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Oh, that sounds fun. Boy, was today a fun day? I sure love puzzle. Who are you? Originally, we dug mazes for puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go two feet without being up to your armpits in puzzles. Ah, uh, sucks that. Who else is in the restaurant? Oh, some guy down here. Who are you? You're a gingerbread man by the looks of it. As I came in, I realised I forgot to make a reservation, but I didn't want to look like I messed up, so I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kinda consuming dew off this ficus. Ficus? I don't know how to pronounce that plant's name. Is there anyone else here? There's a guy at like reception, I guess. Blub blub. You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your everything. Right, well, let's go. There's a Metaton statue. Hmm. Who's this guy? Welcome to the MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Oh, right, we're at MTT Resort. That was apparently the last place before the core. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. <laughs> Lovely. The relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills you with determination. You haven't been going for very long at the moment, so I'm thinking we'll just carry on a little bit more. The elevator goes straight to the capital, but it's stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not going to be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. Oh, mass. As a slime, I'm outraged. So, the elevator is in use. That's back to the restaurant. Who's this guy? He looks like... This looks like a, like a hand for a head. That's very strange. Yes, we know. The elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 gold a room. Interested? I don't even have 200 gold. Do let us know if you change your mind. Have a spark. Have a sparkular day. <laughs> I thought she was saying... Uh, or he. You were quite not, not really sure of the gender of someone with a hand for a head. But um, yeah, I wasn't really sure if they were saying spectacular there and I was like no no they're actually saying sparkular oh so that's to the core and this is to like a oh right a burger emporium oh I'm glad I checked that out 
So welcome to the MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day, TM. So I've used like five healing items here, so I I could really do with something. A Glam Burger is 120 gold, 27 HP, 40 HP for a hero sandwich with an attack up, and a steak in the shape of Metaton's face. Heal 60 HP. Don't ask, please. Well, you know what? I'm not going to pay that. Oops. I'm messing up the... Have a sparkler day! Oh, this is obviously the thing with this hotel. Nah, you know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go up the dodgy alleyway. <laughs> Outside. Let's see if I can find my way out now. Maybe I should have gone up the dodgy alleyway before. Uh, can I go out this way? No. Ah! Oh, I've lost my rights to go down the dodgy alleyway. Or maybe it's maybe it's the other way out of the. If I just go down to the bottom of the screen as I come through here, maybe I get out that way. Yes. So let's see what special deals we've got up the alleyway. <laughs> hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. Bye. Junk food, 25 gold, 17 hit points, has a big bite out of it. You should buy all our stuff. Yeah, I would much rather buy that. They spent 60 gold on something. A mystery key, probably to someone's house, lol. Yeah, just get a few of those. It's not the best. And that's all I have money for. Spider, you have utterly... I'm awful with these menus, I'm sorry. You've utterly wiped me out. Like, later and stuff. But yeah, that was way, way better. Way, 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 way better than um, buying stuff off the burger guy. Because that was so expensive. Oh, I didn't want to go in that door. Okay, so I think now I am just going to save up this episode for today. Now we've gone and got a few more healing items and we're doing a little bit better. We've got through the spider. Hopefully, whatever comes up next we should be able to defeat. But I, I don't know. There's a lot of bosses that are quite difficult in this. And I feel that my, my skills at uh, dodging the puzzles are really not as up to scratch as it could be but never mind we will we will stay determined okay we will stay determined <laughs> so if you like the video and i really hope you do then please leave me a like in the um, subscription commenty box below um, and if you are enjoying undertale and my other series then please subscribe to the channel if you want to and um, i hope i'll see you all next time but in the meantime look after yourselves and keep being awesome